Okay. What I'm going to do is an update video on my last outing with this Taurus P24 7 Pro 45. Um, I just got a new magazine and I had the failure to feed issue three times in a row. Um, you can see it in my other video. Um, the round would just nosedive in the magazine, whatever. And it was three in a row, right in the middle of the magazine. Weird. But anyways, um, this magazine right here is the old magazine. This is what came with the pistol, which never worked right. I, I've never had this thing actually cycle through a full magazine without jamming. Um, so I've sent off, I sent off a couple, and they sent me back the same thing, which... You know how that goes, but you know, saying that it was fixed and it was the the new magazines. Well, I just got a uh, got fed up, and one day I was just looking on online, and I just decided to buy a new magazine from uh, Slim's Tap Tactical, I believe. And as you can see, looking at these two magazines side by side, they're actually quite a bit different. Um, just even the way that the magazine's shaped is different. The follower is, uh, it's kind of hard to see on this, but the follower is shaped a whole lot different on this one, on the newer one. Like it, it's completely redesigned, it looks like. Um, show you on, this is the old one. It's just a lot bulkier, it's rounder on the top of the follower right there. Um, this ain't just a piece. I need to send them all in and get three replacement ones. To, of the new ones well I took this one out and like I said it jammed three times failure to feed um, I came home really frustrated actually because I mean at that point if something was to happen I might as well just throw it at somebody you know if they're in my house or whatever so what I did is I disassembled the the magazine um, just popped the back the bottom off right here and you know of course it's got the spring well then I pulled the follower out the feeder whatever you want to call it and being that it's a mass produced part there's a bunch of burrs uh, along the outside where it was in the mold <clears throat> that were obviously rubbing on the inside of the magazine apparently more so about here in the middle being that the three rounds were in the middle of the magazine when they all failed to feed um, so I trimmed the you know, just with the little file, just took the burrs off, made it nice and smooth around the edges. And I took it out um, a couple days ago, not really expecting a whole lot. Um, I assumed it was going to do the same. And I used, you know, the same type of ammunition I was using before, just cheap Winchester target rounds. Um, pretty much it was failing with any ammunition I used, whether it was um, target rounds or <clears throat> uh, hollow points, didn't matter. But when I took it out last time, it fed perfectly fine. I mean, rapid fire, as fast as I could pull the trigger. Never jammed once. Um, and then I took it out later that day and fired all hollow points. A uh, full magazine of self-defense rounds. Never stuttered. Uh, the gun worked perfectly. Um, so the only problem, if you're having any problems with your Taurus P24-7 Pro in 45, from what I've read, and seen that there's pretty much not any problems with the 9mm and 40 calibers, just the 45s. Um, but as you can see, this magazine, it's got a larger lump here, and the feeder is very sharp on the edge right there compared to the old style. So if you're having problems with it, and you look at your magazine, and it's not, um, doesn't look like this, with the very sh um, pointy edge on the follower, you can see with this one, See, just a lot bulkier and rounder on top. Um, just call Taurus, set it up, get them sent in, and have them replace them. But whenever they replace them, just make sure that they're the right magazines. Because I didn't buy, I didn't get this one from Taurus. So I'm gonna have to send all these in. But you can see there's the little bulge there, where on the old magazine there wasn't really much of a bulge there at all pretty much at all so you know that's something to look for whenever you get your new magazines but like I said um, I just took that new magazine filed the edges on the the follower down 
and I mean it worked like a champ like any other pistol I've ever owned. Um, didn't have any problems with it. Rapid fire, nice and slow, did not matter. Um, every round fed right up into the barrel like it was supposed to. So um, at least it's a glimmer of hope that the gun's just not a POS. Um, probably could have had some better designs to start with with the magazines and whatnot, but hey, you live and learn. So now I've got good magazine. I'm going to send in my three magazines like this, have Taurus replace them, um, and then file those edges down, kind of oil them up a little bit, and just get them broke in. And if there's any other problems with any of the new magazines I have, even after I fix them, well, quote unquote fix them, uh, I'll be posting another video, and I'll probably be on the phone with Taurus if that happens, but hopefully I'll get the new magazines, everything will work fine, and I won't have any more problems with this gun. Um, I've had it for a long time. Uh, from the time I got it, it just never really worked right, but I didn't buy it brand new, so it's not like I could just take it back to where I bought it. Um, and I didn't give a whole lot for it, so I wasn't exactly too worried about um, I knew I'd figure it out eventually, or somebody would figure out a way to fix it. But anyways, back to the point. Get your new magazines, trim them, trim the followers down just a little bit, all those little rough burrs from being out of the molds, and you shouldn't have any problems. So if you uh, have any questions, just comment below. I can actually post a video of how I modified those mags whenever I get the new ones in. Thanks a lot. Bye.